bugs, eh? Oh, Maybe yes. Here. Stuff coming up out of the grass. This valley's gorgeous. This is the first time I've ever been here. Oh, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Hey, it's Chris Nichols here from the camera store. We've got a special episode for you today because we've got Mike Drew with us now. Mike, you've been a photojournalist for a long time, oh, over yeah. 30 years, and uh, you've done your on-the-road column for many, many years, like 20 years plus. 20 years, right? yeah. Absolutely. And uh, today we're doing kind of a special on the road because Mike's taken us on the road, and uh, we're going to showcase this new camera, and this is the Canon 60D. So we want to do something different for you folks at home this time. We want to show you how the 60D works, and, and we're going to shoot some videos today, shoot some photos, and really just kind of give you a real world example of this camera and uh, have a great day out here and Mike tell us a bit about this park. Well this is Dry Island Buffalo Jump Provincial Park. Uh, it's called that because there's a set of cliffs along here that drops down into the valley of the Red Deer River and uh, many years ago people used to run buffalo off these to kill them and you wander through the badland areas that uh, you'll see dinosaur bones sticking out. It's an absolutely stunning place. Now, it's uh, great that you brought us along because, uh, I mean, number one, you know, Alberta like the back of your hand, and number two, you've pretty much shown every Canon digital camera that's been yeah. on the market. Yeah, and, uh, much. and really, uh, you started, and you, you've really been a pioneer as far as digital SLR video has gone, and we want to talk about that quite a bit today because, you know, as, we, as we've already talked about in our episodes, video on these SLRs is a huge industry. It's taking off. I'd say very few people know it better than you do. So thanks yeah, so much for thanks. bringing us along. And let's, oh, uh, my pleasure. Let's see what we get. Yeah, let's have some fun. Okay, now here's where this screen is really handy. You can get yourself right down here in the mud. Absolutely. You can get that leaf. Can you see that there? I mean, we still have to lay on our bellies to get the shot, which is great, but the screen does make it a lot hey, easier. Hey, look, if you don't get dirty while you're working, you're not really working, so, <laughs> you know. Now, this is a little bit of mud. This is a unique feature of the 60D, hey, Mike? Is this new Yeah, screen? yeah, it's the first camera I've ever had, uh, an SLR-type camera with one of these screens, and it's fantastic. I mean, now, look at the, you can just do almost anything you want here. Oh, that's very cool. Vertical, horizontal, very easy to see, and the live view, of course, is a, an immense help. I mean, this would be great for when you're shooting videos as well. Well, yeah, I mean, let's just throw it on to video. All you got to do is throw it, roll it back over here to the movie side. Yeah, there Look you at go. that. Yeah, it's a nice sharp screen. Yeah. Now, you've used the cameras like the 5D Mark II and the 7D as well. So how would you say the 60D video compares? What kind of frame rates do you get on this camera? Well, I usually shoot at 30p, mm. uh, 1080. And uh, uh, as far as I can tell, under most circumstances, the video out of the 60D is identical to that out of the 7D and the uh, 5D. Absolutely. And you get 24 frames per second as well. If yeah, you 24 to if you want. Yeah, and you can uh, drop down to 720p and shoot 60 frames a second and uh, convert that to a really silky smooth uh, slow motion. That looks great. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty nice. Do you find anything um, distinct here? Because I know you do shoot traditional camcorders for your journalistic work as well, but you've largely moved over to the SLR now. Do you find any sort of distinctions between the, the look of the video that you get here with an SLR compared to a traditional camcorder? Yeah, this is uh, a thousand times better. Mm. The color is richer. There's, you can really control the depth of field, so you can really isolate subjects. Mm. It's, um, oh, it's just, there's nothing that this camera can't do. And as we saw earlier, I mean, you got this thing wet. <laughs> you probably don't do yeah. that with an HP20 or a, uh, or a camcorder. Well, I have, but uh, <laughs> once. Yeah, but you have, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't think you could do a lot of what you do with this camera on a standard video camera. This lens, for instance, is a 50 to 500. Mm. And of course, with the, uh, the crop factor on the 60D, that becomes an 800 millimeter lens on a video camera. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I don't even know if that exists. <laughs> Absolutely. And I guess you could switch over an ultra wide or you could switch sure. over a macro lens. I have two lenses I use. I mean, I have several lenses, but I, the two lenses I use quite often are the Tokina 11 to 16 and the Sigma 50 to 500. And with those two lenses, I'm covered from that far and that wide to an eyeball on a moose from uh, the inside of my truck if I want. Fantastic. And you're finding now the Canon 60D files, you have no problem importing these into uh, no, your favorite editing software. This is identical to everything else that Canon makes, so it's just a matter of converting the files to a usable format, like you have to do with all these DSLR cameras, and 
plug it in and play. That's, that's really all there is to it. I mean, you're, you're a photographer, but now you're also shooting a lot of video. I mean, has this changed your industry at all in, in the news photography? You're, you kind of pioneered doing uh, video, and of course now the internet's taking off. People want to see video. They want to see motion. How's that changing the industry? Well, it's changing it profoundly. Uh, things are, well, for one thing, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities for what you can shoot. Two years ago, even, you would shoot a story and you might get three or four pictures in the paper. Now you can have a photo gallery, you can have a, a two minute video, and plus everything that's in the newspaper, all from one camera. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pack a whole bunch of stuff. Geez, Mike, do I call you a photographer or a videographer? Oh. So Mike, if you were to then get covered by mud and dirt and rocks in there, you'd be found by whatever squid-like creatures take over this planet 100,000 years? Pretty much, yeah. Yep, this would be my tomb. Perfectly I would turn into a dinosaur. <laughs> so manual focus is so nice for this because you just hit the magnification button on the on the back of the camera and uh, you can focus so precisely on this stuff. I don't know that uh, Autofocus would be any advantage whatsoever in something like this. Sides only pussies work with autofocus. <laughs> This camera does have audio control, right? And how does that change your video making? Well, mostly what it does is it gives you control over the quality of the sound. When you've got uh, auto gain, if you have a, a low spot where there's not a lot of low, uh, not a lot of noise, the gain will pump it up to get it to a certain level. And then if you something comes along, makes a noise, boom, it's just blown right out. Right. On manual levels, you can just set it to a point and then everything will fall within that. If the sound drops, you'll hear silence. If the sound picks up, you'll yeah. hear it. So it's kind of like having a manual exposure mode for photography where it's you set an exposure, the light changes, your exposure stays exactly the same. It's exactly the same idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's essential as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, one of the things on, on SLRs like this, the, the built-in microphones are functional, but they're not, uh, they're not ideal. Well, they're not even... <laughs> not even functional. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're functional in that they record sound. Yeah, you just can't use. But them it's mono. Idea. It's uh, and uh, the the quality of the microphone is not very good. Uh, you can probably see by the microphone I got on here that uh, they take a beating. Absolutely. Well, pretty much everything I own <laughs> takes a beating. But uh, you know, put a little fuzz on it and uh, some uh, elastic bands, and away you go. Yeah, you're off. Mike lost his wallet <laughs> in this hole. Now we've got a really cool shaft of light coming down through the, uh, the hole here. Hey, yeah, you know what? When you see a hole in the ground, you should always crawl in and just see what's there. I mean, you never know. The, the light down here is absolutely beautiful. I like that the viewers at home get to see that these are tools before they are uh, pieces of jewelry. Absolutely. I didn't buy this camera to put it in a museum. I bought it to shoot pictures and video. Absolutely. That's how you get the results, right? Yep, absolutely. And this 60D camera, I mean, this is, this is really representing a very well-priced camera for the consumer. It has a ton of features. We got the same sensor as the 7D, which means very good low light performance, high res photos. I mean, there's certainly no downside there for the stills, right? No, none. And at the same time, you've got a very full-featured video camera, especially things like the audio control, the manual controls that you have available, uh, different frame rates, the high 1080p video. So um, how could you go wrong with this camera? I mean, it's... Well, you can't go wrong with this camera. If you've got any Canon mount lenses, uh, you have to have a camera like this. If you want to do video and you want to do high-quality stills, this is a no-brainer. I mean, we can put on microphones that we've seen here. You've got so many lenses to use. With the help of some other parts here, I mean, these shooting rigs, um, you've got focus pullers, you've got uh, viewfinders and magnifying loops. I mean, you can really turn this into a full-featured video camera. Uh, you can shoot amazing stills with it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really representing a fantastic price point right now. I think the consumer gets to benefit from the newer technology, 
uh, but Canon being established in this market and uh, and really getting a camera that if they want to shoot video with, they've got uh, they've got a high end solution for. It. Thanks very much, Mike. Hey, my pleasure. Anytime. Get this scarf here. This uh, I got that back in 1982 for my boy Ansi, my boy, my dog Ansi. He um, he had a chain collar that he got when he was really little, and every time he bent over to have a drink, it would end up in his water dish. So I got this, so his collar wouldn't slide off anymore. And of course, Ansi ran up the trail ahead of me back in 1997, but he always is with.